Okay. All right, let's put the bolts in a magnetic tray uh, so I don't lose them and they roll off, especially uh, if you're not on a flat drive. Okay, there we go. Uh, right, that's it. Uh, basically it does have a peg on this one for holding on the wheel which is good um, so that's removing uh, your one of your wheels on a Citroen Zantia uh, you can watch my other video I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do changing the brake pads today um, but for safety put put this uh, wheel under the car and all which will uh, help with safety changing the rear brake pads on a Citroen Xantia. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take this uh, cover off here. So I'll spray it with some uh, penetrating oil first. And there's a nut at the back. Uh, so we'll do the same with that. Uh, and then we'll, we'll undo it, let it soak for a minute. Uh, also I'm going to bleed it, so I'll just uh, put a little bit um, on, the, on the bleed nipple and all. Um, so the tools you'll need are um, eight mil, uh, eight mil spanner, uh, nut on the back. So that's for the nut on the back. Um, got an eight mil light breaker bar type spanner here uh, for the front, just for holding it. Um, we'll undo it from the back because the nuts at the back. Uh, basically, because uh, it's slotted, uh, you need to loosen it slightly, and the cover will come off. Um, so we'll do that now. Right, okay, so we're, um, we've undone, um, we've undone the spanner, we've undone the, uh, the nut at the back, uh, basically we're not, we've not, uh, loosened it completely off, um, because now, um, the cover will come off without taking the bolt out. Um, so let's take the cover off, there we go, so as you can see there's a slot in it. Uh, basically that um, bolt holds the pads in, uh, so we'll be taking the bolt completely out now. Um, so as you can see, it's just uh, a dust cover um, holding the pads in. Um, so what we'll do now is uh, remove this uh, bolt completely and then um, we can get the pads out. There's a spring uh, in here. Uh, anti-squeal spring so we can take that out and all which goes underneath um, so we'll do that uh, the pads here today uh, I've got from um, got from Halfords um, Halfords ones um, obviously a lot thicker than the ones that are in uh, they don't do these anymore but you can get them on online um, yeah, so these are the new ones uh, I'm going to put in today. So, uh, as you can see there, uh, the bolts uh, that I'm going to remove. Uh, it's a spring here, anti-rattle spring that goes underneath that bolt, shims uh, either side um, of the pads. Um, so, just make a note of uh, your setup before you start removing things. Um, so these are the springs. So there we are, removing the bolt. And there's your spring. Okay. So there we go. Um, if you push, push backwards it will push the piston back in. Uh, a little bit, which will allow you um, to take your pads out. Uh, I'll take one out now. As you can see, pistons out a bit, uh, but you can push that back in. Uh, basically, with your um, with your old pan, really push them right back in for your for your old ones, and that's what you need to do to get your um, 
the new ones back in. Um, I'll take one out anyway to just show you. On the back there, you've got this shim. Let's put it down. Um, so just make a note of um, where it was um, on the pad. Okay. Um, this one was facing the bottom there. Okay, when it come off. Okay. Uh, same with, with this one. Um, okay, so there's a shim in the back. Um, empty rattle shim, which we'll put on the new ones. They're not too bad really, um, but I've got a set and I'm going to change them because they, they generally seize up. Um, so I'll give them a good clean clean out in there and um, push the piston right right back in there um, for the new pads. Give it a good clean up with some uh, uh, some brake cleaner and um, what I'll also do clean the pins up and the spring. Uh, put plenty of copper slick on and uh, compare the new parts to the old. Uh, we'll see there's quite a difference here. Um, here's the old one. It's a bit of a difference, isn't there? Um, so yeah, um, I want to take them out just to um, just to clean them up really. Uh, so I might as well uh, change the um, change them at the same time. It's not worth messing about with. For how much the pads cost. Okay. So what I'll do now, clean everything up, um, put copper slick on the important bits and then we'll um, put them back in um, and that's it. It's as simple as that, it's quite an easy job uh, to do. Uh, we'll clean the, uh, the disc up, um, clean the disc and make sure that's okay. All right. Thickness. Uh, the thickness is measuring 15.53, so the 15mm thick. Um, if you look at one of the old ones, let's say, uh, get one of the old ones. Um, okay, one of the old ones. Um, that was obviously set at 15, so the new, the old one is. Uh, it's measuring below 11 mils, quite still a bit on them, but uh, you know, if you looked at the difference there, they have uh, lost quite a bit. Um, yeah, and um, this, this particular one's been wearing a bit of a step on it, which is not ideal. Um, so it's worth changing. Right, I'll give you an idea of what they measure uh, the new pads. Um, get the calipers on them. So they're like um, what we're seeing here, uh, 54 and a half. Um, okay. Uh, basically, um, that's that's not the pad material. That's the um, from end to end. Now, if you can see. Um, so that gives you an idea. Um, height. that measuring um, 32.58 and uh, go from end to end uh, that's um, basically 63 right I'll measure the discs see what they're measuring at the moment um, measuring 8.23 currently. Um, okay, so that's the measurement of the discs. Um, try it in a different position. Should be the same. Yeah, 8.3. 8.5. So yeah, around about 8.3 discs at the moment. Right, what we've been doing is uh, to push the pistons back in, uh, basically um, put a, um, a bleeding uh, tube on, um, put it into the bottle, put a bit of LHM fluid in, uh, 
basically un undone that uh, and you can just push the pistons back with your fingers uh, so you basically your old fluid in your caliper uh, you, you're just pushing out um, and you're pushing pushing the piston back in I find it's an easier way of uh, pushing the pistons in without jamming something in and bending it against the disc you know putting your old pad in and bending it so you know what you can do is um, see they've gone back in now piston uh, you can just undo your bleed screw there push them back and it just pushes the fluid back up there as you can see um, plus you, it won't uh, you won't get any air in because it just it just comes back in because it's in fluid anyway um, you know you can see there um, what I've just done um, so yeah yeah it's one way of uh, pushing your pistons back in okay so as you can see now uh, the new pads I'll go in dead easy uh, plenty of movement there uh, for your pads because uh, I've pushed the piston back uh, using this method uh, an easy method to do um, okay so just a bit of a tip there for you an easy way of, um, of pushing the piston back <laughs> on a Citroen Xantia um, obviously um, make sure you've got a very good fitting spanner I've sprayed it um, um, with a bit of um, um, a bit of lubricant there um, just to make sure it's easy to do um, but a bit of a tip there for you for pushing the pistons back um, so what we'll do is uh, clean up the channels um, just a, a cheap uh, brush we've got a few of them here um, so I'll we'll just clean up uh, where the pads are going to slide okay get all the crap off I'll uh, give them a good cleaning up and a good a good spray and a brake cleaner get all the dust out Right now it's been cleaned up. Make sure that the um, slide in and out easily enough. Uh, like you can see, um, no resistance. Same the other side. Okay, and then we'll install them and uh, put the um, put the pins in. Uh, it's as simple as that. Grease everything up. Put the cover on. Uh, I'm just going to bleed a bit more. Um, the brakes, going to switch the engine on and uh, bleed any air out of the brakes, make sure everything works, clean the disc up, um, make sure everything's fine and, and that's it basically, um, it's a very easy job to do, anyone can do it, um, sometimes the only problems you'll get is you can't get them out but if you use a pair of these pliers uh, to pull them out, um, you know, um, and that's the way uh, I've done in the past. Right, so uh, I've put some copper slick on the um, shims here, um, so we'll put the pads in now. Um, okay, the pads go in, like so. Right, there you go. And the other one. pin in. Uh, this is the pin. Um, we'll put the spring in. I can put the spring in first. Okay, there goes the spring. And we'll put the pin in and then the cover on. Okay. That's what it's like uh, back in now as you can see. Pads are in. Uh, copper slicks on. Um, I'll put the cover back on now. The bolts in. Slide the bolt in. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how it goes back together again. Um, so, put the cover on, and um, we'll obviously switch, put, press the brakes, make sure um, make sure everything's okay. Um, the brakes coming on and off, and we'll spin it. Um, you can see now it's completely off, obviously. Um, I'll spin, spin the. Um, the wheel. Um, so I'll put the cover on now. Put the, and we'll try the brakes. 
okay and that's everything that's the um, passenger side done we'll do the same do the same on the other side